Hey, and hello again. Welcome back to this Let's Play Imperator Rome as Syracuse. So, as you can see, we are picking up where we left off, which I realized afterwards was not the best place maybe to stop. When I post these, I'm probably going to try to post them very close together, uh, but that doesn't resolve the underlying issue being that it just gives me a lot of flexibility to cheat if, if you, you know, so were inclined. Because I could try all sorts of weird, crazy stuff to take Rome and, you know, end the game. Uh, and see which strategy works and just post the best video. That's always a risk. You'll just have to trust me that I don't do that primarily because, not because I'm inherently honest, though I am, but because I just would get really bored recording and re-recording a bunch of different attempts to get something to work out properly. Uh, it would drive me mad. I'd have to repeat the same jokes over and over again. And that's something only you only do when you get very old. Anyways, so my apologies for the ending point being somewhat less than ideal. Uh, that said, you know, I did justifiably want to stop because otherwise I was going to sit there and think about it for probably at least five minutes about what I should do. The thing is, we have no aggressive expansion at the moment, uh, so we could take as much as we possibly could, um, and that would, in the ideal world, be all of it. Um, there is no particularly defensible train over here for a fort, so it's almost irrelevant. We'd probably just end up putting it in the provincial capital, uh, even if that means losing some pops here during a border skirmish. Uh, here, very defensible, so we'd be okay. Um, so there's no reason not to kind of take it all, other than pretty borders. That's a nice line there, I must say. Uh, so, we're not quite there yet, though. The major issue is the last battle has uh, been lost, because our friends up north did lose it. However, we've got a little stack right here. And what I want to try, and we're only going to do it if it works in our favor, is we're going to move here. We're going to not attack them here, because that's hills. We're going to hope they move down here, and then we're going to come in here and attack them. However, before we do that, and this is a bit wasteful, I do admit, because it's one war, it's the last battle of the war, and we're going to take the Hellenic Deity of War icon, or the extra discipline right now, to make sure we win this battle. It means we don't get to enjoy the tax benefits or the Freeman Happiness benefits for quite some time, but winning this battle will be instrumental in ensuring our long-term success. All right, that being said, we might as well just progress and get this over with. Uh, anything else to look at, though? No, not a whole lot. World looks much the same. Uh, my big thing that I want to do when this war is done is just consolidate, take it slow, think about things, and start focusing on getting that fleet up into shape so we can take on Carthage. Uh, but that's for another day. First, we'll get this battle rolling here. Still got that prisoner abroad. Hi. <laughs> All right, let's see what, how we uh, how we can progress here. All right, they did not go down into the plains. They're going back up to Nola, which is hills. But I'm going to go for it anyway. Oh, I can't. All right, let's uh, pop back up then. Maybe we just gave them too much time. Ah, okay, let's get rid of that. Let's go down here instead. Round up the troublemakers and his supporters. Okay, so what we've got here, uh, Incendiary Slave Speaks. This is uh, also a, a standard event. So we have some choices. We can get rid of them all, get some tyranny. Our slaves will be quite upset. Uh, we can get some popularity. Slaves will not be upset, but will be less productive. We could accept this fellow in, lose some popularity, but we're popular enough. And we'll get a new character, Proteus Palunid, and lose some political influence, or do almost nothing, which is kind of foolish. Um, yeah, maybe this guy's useful. I doubt it, but um, what is the name again? Proteus Apollonid. Shall we check right away? Um, A to Z. I do not see it. There he is. Oh, he's not particularly silver-tongued. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, if that's what you want, then fine. All right, hey guys, get in there. Oops, locked in. Yep. Oh, we were just a bit preemptive there. Let's head on down and take this battle. Um, okay. 
uncertain but what is our tactic here skirmishing still let's hope that we get this right oh we've only caught half of their force that's maybe possibly good uh no particular advantages or disadvantages uh, we can see here yeah we've got some uh some ad good advantage in discipline they're making no progress on that siege and not coming to help their buddies out we are losing a fair amount of men but they lost uh, more and we could probably and then also take out this guy in the hopes let's hope they don't win this siege in the moments that they have left there we go excellent but that worked out exactly as planned um, it's also good, you know, because you want fights. It's what gets you military tradition in this game. So you you might get it from other stuff too. I don't know, from sieges and stuff. I'll have to read up on that in all my free time. All right, so now we're making peace though. We're not pushing this further. My ally's about ready to be a permanently peaced out here. Uh, so we are done. And they will give us everything and more. Should we take more? I really wish I could give my, if they just like kept control of something. Uh, but so it is, so it is. I don't really want to take isolated provinces. Olives. Mm-hmm. I mean, that makes a better line, but I'm worried this city won't be able to feed itself. Oh, we can't take it anyways. Um, so that is all we can take. There we go. That looks pretty good to me, though. Let's call it a war. We're going to get peace enforced on us anyhow pretty soon. And we'll be taking 22 aggressive expansion. And that's the peace score value. Yep, nothing else we can do. I'm not pushing it further. I pushed it far enough. All right. I'm quite happy with how that worked out. But we're going to not stop quite there quite yet. Uh, we are going to have to do some surveying about what's going on up here. Uh, the first surveying, and we got to get this going right away, is actually going to be to get some forts up. This is a really terrible place. That's actually a city. Oh, I didn't know that was a city. Um, how big of a city? 21. I guess that is then the biggest city in the province other than uh, these guys. All right, um, so that is a good place for uh, for us to have our um, capital then of the province. We are going to start, though, by getting some forts up. They're expensive. I don't really like building them, but um, we have no choice. But let's pick our locations first. Obviously, one there. We can get that one up right away then. Fortress, 110. Yep. We got some war reps anyway, so... I mean, I, I like to put them right right on the front lines, but this is the smartest also because it will help hold the line there. And if we put it up here, there'll be ways to sneak by our fort. This side, on the other hand, it is a bit more difficult. I love to be able to protect the provincial capital, but that also would require then another fort. And I don't really want to keep this fort here, though it might be more valuable than this one, to be honest. Hmm, that's a really difficult question. And this is a level two, which is, of course, great because it can hold off everybody longer. Um, I'm wishing we had hung on to the fort down here so we could have at least, you know, dealt with that issue. But we may move our regional capital when we integrate our vassals anyways. Which I must say, the vassals sort of redeemed themselves a little bit in the last war. So I'm going to, you know, try to be more kind to them going forward. And maybe not integrate them quite as quickly. Though I might integrate this one. Um, as a matter of fact, I should probably uh, improve relations with him then. Oh, are you guys looking? You're all at 200 though. You don't need any relation improvement. Maybe I'll integrate one of them. Yeah, probably a good idea. Alright, so, but that getting said, where do we put the fort here? I think we put it there. Even though I initially would love to have it here, this should block them from coming in. Um, it won't protect the provincial capital. Uh, maybe we'll just leave this fort here then and and take and get rid of this one. It's a level two, yeah, but we're not going to need it there. We're really not. All right, let's build a fort here. Uh, just olives on that uh, place, so that's all right. Long term, of course, we're not going to need it, but 
we may need it short term. We will also then get rid of our level two here and we'll think in the long term about rebuilding a fort down in this province later because this one will actually help make sure that this whole province isn't seized if something goes wrong and we'll also secure the pass here quite well from either direction. And this one does the same, it just does it later. Uh, it's good to free up building slots in cities anyhow. There we go, ports are down. Another thing I'm gonna wanna look at is how this altered our cultural makeup. So we have a lot of Mesopians now. A fair amount of ourselves, that's good. Some Lucians, that's, that's not ideal. Kelion, that's, that's similar to us. And then these civilians. And these are who are our target, to be honest. Because if you look at this map, Billion is a pretty big group. They disappear quickly if the Romans start to suck them up. But I think that's the group we want to accept as a new integrated culture. And we don't want to overdo that, which means we're not really ready yet, though. We're not ready to integrate them because they don't make them enough of our population. And when you do that, you're going to be losing stability. We're already losing stability because of the aggressive expansion. So let's just hold off. Uh, maybe that we end up integrating one or two of them on accident then, but that's fine. But let's take a look at our other cities here then as well and see if they have marketplaces to help and pop assimilation. They do not. So let's get a marketplace up there. Uh, where were our other cities? There's one here. Also does not have a marketplace, but he's working on a fort. Also does not have a marketplace. Nobody has marketplaces. Okay. That's a city as well. Boy, you got a lot of cities here. And that's a city as well. And they're all about the same in population size. So that doesn't help me uh, in my prioritization at all. Uh, given that's the capital, we'll uh, kind of leave it that way. That is a good place. This is also pretty good. I may have to demote one of these cities, but I don't generally like doing that. I don't really know the meta yet. And for now, I actually think cities are, can be maybe a bit useful, uh, more so than in the past, since you can't build mega cities. Um, it's a decision I'll make much, much later. So, uh, yeah, that looks like then the biggest city. So you can get your marketplace there. Other than that one, which we need the port as a bigger priority. So another marketplace there. Uh, that's getting pretty close on everything. Did I have a marketplace there already? Yes, I did have marketplaces there. Uh, that's getting pretty close on how much money we want to spend. But I guess I can get one more up down here. 74, yeah. It'll still save us enough to build up our navy. Oh, our poor heavies, poor heavies. I don't know what we're gonna do with them. These guys can come down here in the meantime. Not looking too terribly weak, so that's fine. Let's build ourselves two more Tyrenes and maybe one more, one Liberian. Two Tyrenes, one Liberian. And then we're gonna also be on the eyes for pirates a little bit more. But this time we're gonna be on the eyes for ones that are less than a fleet of 36 ships. Um, all right. Everything is in order there. What we want to do now then is take this little fella because he doesn't have any friends at the moment. If we were friendly with him, I would actually totally go for um, vassalizing him somehow. But we haven't been focusing on that tree um, base, rank, diplomatic reputation, current strength, potential strength, opinion. I, I maybe could actually get him up to that level. I don't know. Maybe we should try just to learn. I mean, it's not like we desperately need the land ASAP. And I do plan on actually probably making him a feudatory anyways. Um... It would be good to have somebody a little bit closer to the front than these guys way back in here. And we'd get another fort in the province. Hmm. Which kind of makes me doubt my whole deletion there. Then I, I you know, overlooked that uh, <laughs> issue. In fact, you could even go without a fort uh, overall there then. But no, no, I like my own forts. Hmm. Should we try to vassalize them instead? 
how much more relationship would we need? Doom, 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 doom. Offer feudatory 26. I think we can do it. Sure. Feudatories can be integrated eventually. Yes, that's you know, basically what I expected. Let's do that. That'll allow us to bring our levies down. Get some more tradition there. Not as exciting, I know, as other things, but hey, that's all right. Let's start by maybe offering a guarantee. We will join any wars in which they are attacked. Does that take a relationship slot? Let's say. Hmm. Tell you what, let's just go with a standard. Um, uh, well, let's send a gift. It's dirt cheap. See what that does. Now they adjust the relationship. Um, okay, apparently the relationship did not adjust due to the aggressive expansion. Uh huh. We just wasted that gift, but at least we didn't waste more money. Uh, weird that it updates right when you do other things, then, but not beforehand. Anyhow, whatever. Uh, let's uh, look at this envoy from wants to import cloth. Oh, we got some cloth then. That's uh, that's good. Excellent. It is a bit of a shame we disbanded our troops. We can't bring them back up for a while. Hopefully they don't get any sort of alliance or guarantee. Uh, these are totally unrelated trading offers, so we can get them up as well. More trade offers. Everybody wants trade. We're going to have to wait a bit till we can bring our levies back up now and, and just take them the traditional way. Uh, September. Oh, horses even. All right. Um, yeah. We probably should just automate this, but, you know, it doesn't happen so often. We're gonna be rolling in the money. You can probably get my ships to, uh, port then for a little while. Uh, didn't, uh, this happen again? Didn't this happen before? Or did it happen in a different game that I'm, uh, not recalling? Uh, so, yes, a voice behind bars. Somebody who's incarcerated is managing to spread bad rumors about us. Yes, I'm sure you are. So, we can either take the popularity hit or gain a little bit of tyranny. We're going to take the popularity hit. We'll get that back. And our little buddy here, who apparently thinks we are his arrival, despite the fact that he's in bars, is going to disappear. Anybody else who wants to disappear? Do, do, do. Uh, we can sell off a couple people. Our tyranny is looking a little bit low. You as well. And one more. Um, hmm, who looks the most valuable? You. All right. There we go. More trade offers coming in. Except. One day we'll just have to spend a whole episode redoing our trade. Uh, you're probably safe to trade with, that's useful. Okay. Anybody but Rome. <laughs> Boy, we got a lot of trade goods from this little uh, endeavor, I must say. Uh, plenty to build another marketplace down here then. And plenty also to build our navy up even further. We almost at September. We are. Good. I think we've got an extra ship there. No, we don't. We can move you guys back out then. Look at raising our levies. Yep. Right like there. Raise them right there. The shame I can't raise a little bit smaller of levies. We've also maybe got some import routes here. No, no, we don't. Anything down here again? Obviously not. We get an alert for that. All right. So we take this province the traditional way. Our uh, buddies are not going to come. Uh, we They would if we waited till the end of the month. We don't need them. It's fine. They are really war exhausted. I'm sorry, guys. Wonder what kind of fort we're looking at here. 
we are looking at, yes, a level two, so that will take a little bit longer. But that's fine. Create new units, see how many of you guys I can get off with the siege progress still progressing. Good. Well, I'll send him up to the city from whence he came, whence he came. The more trade offers, Sparta. I always like to trade with you guys. Probably could no lower that even more. Do we see here how many people it maybe takes to siege? Doesn't say. Hmm. No, I don't see it. Well, that's fine. Wait, did I? Oh, no, I did keep that part. I was like, did I delete that part? Uh, <laughs> that's all right. All right. Uh, we are taking some attrition there due to the storm. Move our Liberian up. I kind of like these storms. I wish they were even more severe, though. And maybe that certain ship types dealt with them or certain admirals had traits that made them better in storms than, than their adversaries. That would be would be fun. To utilize the weather to your advantage, especially as a miner, would be uh, quite an interesting way of playing the game. The March of Time. Oh, Our king, Agathocles, the first Agathoclid, is uh, apparently getting ill at 71. Boy, he is a rich man. It is very useful to have a rich leader, though, especially in democracies. How sad. He has gained gout. I think there are worse things. Um, he is going to die eventually, though. And so we do have to keep that in mind. Probably we won't be keen to start any wars then until he has passed away. I'll tell you why in a bit. Maybe. Well, I can tell you now since we're just sitting around waiting for a siege. Basically, an event will come up where Masana will declare independence. And I believe it, because I've only played this country once before, so I cannot say if it's universal, but I believe it only happens when this guy dies. And when that happens, we will either have to let them go, or we will have to declare war immediately. Uh, usually that event only happens when when you're at war, and it's <laughs> just the way it works. No, I'm, I'm being cynical there, of course. That's just that we don't want the event to happen at a bad time when our troops are really fighting a close fought battle somewhere in the game that I did as Syracuse much uh, some time ago. Uh, but in this patch some time ago, a whole week ago or something, <laughs> it happened when I was fighting my first war against Carthage. And uh, yeah, it was not what I would think uh, was ideal timing. Uh, more pirates. This time we won though. Yay. wonder if we acquired any ships from that. I think we got at least one. Probably means we do want to get those ships uh, into port though as soon as we can. All right, the sacking of the city. Let the looting be gentle. Yes, be gentle. Okay, we have got their fleet. Mm, pardon? We've got their fleet coming in. We did win that, but <laughs> never know. Uh, so, we can get our fleet out of the way then. Now, do we want this territory directly, or do we want them to be a feudatory? I'm leaning towards feudatory and integrating one of these guys instead. Let's check their population. Not the right groups, that's fine. But, um, you know, we're, we're open-minded. Uh, but yeah, let's, um, let's do that. Let's make him a feudatory. Become subject, so feudatory, yes. Gotta make sure, pretty sure I know all this, but, you know, can be made integral part of Syracuse. That's the most important part. And will join our wars, excellent. And we'll get no aggressive expansion from that. That's great. Excellent. Now, let's uh, get rid of our levies again. Little bit more military experience. Excellent. We can come in there. I then want... No, nope, you can come in here. Take a look at my other vassals. Your cities are 23 and 25. Almost irrelevant which one we take in. Very good is glass and earthenware. Both very good. Uh, not much the way. Oh, you do have a three port, though. That is useful for me. That is useful for me. Tell you what, we're going to integrate this guy. Where are we? You cannot guarantee. Okay, infant. There it is. Um, till 66. Three years. Pretty quick. I like that. 
You are probably going to need some love. Yeah. Um, oh, that'll change when the uh, month ticks. Let's let the month tick, then. Fleet is all together. I'm going to move them down to a three-port facility. Uh, the heavies, just because I really want to keep the stuff separated and I can't repair them anywhere. Anyhow, can go up there. I don't get confused at some point and accidentally send them out. What do we have there? Four numbers, then. Okay, 13, 16. We've got 29 in our fleet. We could build also the next level ship up. Um, but first I want to get these guys up where the flank size can be 10 and flanks can be filled. Mm-hmm. Well, we can start then just by building two of them. And that can be yeah, in any old place. Let's take a look at this event. A sizable quantity of tribal people resident in the settlement of Thyron have requested permission of the local administration officers to cross the border into land owned by our neighbor, Metapontium. The request comes back by a generous promise of gold, but our local officials are reluctant to lose such lucrative workers. You want to go where? <laughs> How many of you? We have no need of their type. <clears throat> Four tribesmen will disappear and will gain some money. Or they're going to be unhappy and, you know, whatever. Um, you know, they're tribesmen. I don't care. Normally, yeah, redirect them to somewhere more appropriate. Our neighboring territory of Netion. I mean, you don't really want so many, so many tribesmen anyways. They're not doing any good. Um, you know, let's get some extra money for a little while. And we can think at the end of this episode, maybe, about ways to spend that money. Because we've got a little buffer there. I mean, it is nice to have a buffer, though. This city, then, has its marketplace. All right, that is good. Still not very happy, the people, but, you know, that's all right. Freemen are happy. How's the overall province loyalty looking? Not going down. That's all that matters. Yeah. We do have to make the determination if uh, other facilities are worth our time as well such as tax offices and the likes. Whoop, I've been letting the clock go by. Call to arms against who? Oh, you've got a rebellion on your hands. Hmm. All right, well, we can do that. We've got our time here. 28. Uh, probably a little bit less because I always seem to spend the first couple of minutes clearing my throat. Uh, but the things that happen behind the scene. Uh, all right. We are paused, making sure more stuff is not happening. I wanted to check the population here. We do have a fair amount of freemen, so let's get ourselves a tax office. We don't really need a tax office, actually. Because that's, um, the people are just fine. Uh, or the money is mainly coming from other sources. Diversification is good. Should we get a training camp? I don't really have manpower issues either. These are nice, but they're also more expensive. Hmm. I, I truly do believe in having a couple tax offices around. So, yeah, let's do that. They've got a good granary reserve there. Here, not so much, but uh, it's it's okay, though. Yeah, let's just get you one tax office. That's fine. And they want some help. A defensive war against their revolt. Sure. I wonder if we really care whether they lose this or not. Probably we do. Guess we'd better uh, get our fleet up here to help them out. The fleet can go... Oh, we have no port there. <laughs> um, where can we go? Be a little bit quicker at rescuing our friends. It, it's a shame. I don't really want to activate my levies all the time. Uh, but that's the way it is. Gotta help them out. Go levies up. There we go. Embark. And head on up here to help our friends. There we go. The Treasury of Agalas Trifid. So, apparently our researcher has gotten his hands a lot of wealth. Aha. Uh -huh. His loyalty is fine. He'll quiet down in time. Uh, we'll lose a bit of popularity. He'll lose a bit of loyalty. 
Otherwise, we'll get a bit of money. He'll lose even more loyalty. Let, let's keep him happy. Um, my popularity at my advanced age, by me, I mean the king, isn't really something that we need to worry about. Uh, it wouldn't do much good maxing it out. We've got a bad research ratio again. Ouch. Ouch. We do. Um, will another library help? We've already got an academy there. Go away. Um, hmm. Oh, we need another aqueduct there, Jack. Uh, but we don't even have a building slot. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Um, so, we're going to need a couple things here. First, we're going to need an extra building slot. Nothing I can really get rid of here. We will be getting more investments once we get our research up. So, first, we need another building slot here. That's fine. We've got a lot of influence, as you can see up top. Then, I believe this is the place for the next number of loyal uh, of uh, nobles and citizens. They've got a total of nine. We've got a total of ten. Okay, let's get you another library. Hopefully, that helps a little bit with our ratios. We'll be building uh, some of these academies and courts of law then, uh, as soon as we can. Yeah, yeah, we've got to get that research ratio up then it's been like that just the whole game and that does happen when you expand because your population dynamics change but uh, that's no biggie i'm sure we're doing just fine there we go let's drop you guys in here Whoop. no what do you do ah you're still moving <laughs> all right should have stopped you one sooner now you guys can go in there there we go and help out our friends. Taking a little while, but that's all right. Um, we don't need you there. Then you can go there. Rome at war again. No, they're not. Probably just worried about us. All right, that's fine there. What do we have here? Request for military access. You are at war with Rome. Sure. You can both have it. Let me see Rome's diplomatic situation. Ooh, wow. That, you know, you're fighting most of the Northern tribes. It'll uh, let them expand quite a bit. They're looking pretty nice up there. Uh, but I like it when that happens. They get really a bit distracted up here sometimes. Uh, so, that's uh, just fine by me. Oh boy, everybody has to uh, ask for permission to enter our country, do they? You don't really need me up here anymore, from what I can see. So can I just disband you guys here? Probably. They're not an enemy. I believe. Uh, we don't know how many troops they have. I think you're going to be fine. Can I uh, actually, though, just disband them here? Military? I cannot. Ah, I can't do it while at war. That's right. Eh. All right, well, we might as well just leave them here then. Maybe we can uh, back up our buddies just in case if something happens. The Navy could actually depart, though, because we should be able to disband them in foreign lands, I think. Maybe? Oh, jeez. They came down to my territory? <laughs> oh, that is cruel. That's That's really cruel. Come on, guys, before they take even more of our citizens. Two of them. You took two of them. Ugh. All right. I'm, I'm really not happy I helped you out. And now they're going to strip this province even more. Do-do-do-do-do. Are they just going to bounce back and forth and do that? Uh, local building slot. Ah, yes, that's that. You guys get ashore and take care of these guys. Um, alright. Do, do, do. Our wife is helping us out. That's nice of her. At least they didn't strip that province even more. I found it kind of cruel that they took it twice. Um, alright. So... The consort is a pious woman, so 
we can get some extra state religious happiness. Oh, that is good. That is definitely good because we're pretty uniform on that. Yeah, we're going with that. Small financial loss. I am very, very bothered. They, they really just had it kill all the populations too. It's like really terrible. Like how many did I lose? Just because they uh, constantly were able to take more pops. And in my experience in wars, when you go into a region once, you go back again, you just get less likely to be able to secure pops. All right, um, eased mines. We're gonna need a lot of pop-ups too. It's always when you're trying to pay attention to other things. The charisma and diplomatic savviness of our consort is well known. She, she's quite lovely, I guess. Um, so, he has planned to lavish a diplomatic delegation and reassure them that Syracuse is in capable hands. Such a gesture is sure to encourage a wider reaching improvement in the assessment of Syracusean reliability. This will improve all of our vassals' uh, opinions of us, whereas this will not. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. We're role-playing, and, and also because I'm integrating one of them. I don't want them to lose their opinion of me now. You guys come over here, since apparently they're running away somewhere, and we'll have no control over what happens there. They have access in Roman territory, but we do not. That siege resolving itself... All right, the war ended, and I got no notice that the war ended either. I mean, I guess that's with how it works with revolts, but we can at least... Get rid of now of our levies. A little bit more military tradition. At least we got something out of it. Um, I think we lost, what, at least six pops. I think it was first two enslaved, two enslaved, and two died. <laughs> harsh world, harsh world. All right, let's get our navy all back to where we want it. Through the storm. And then we're going to wrap up. That went a few minutes longer than I wanted, uh, mainly because of this, this war distraction, which I definitely did not want. Just want to get my navy home. And then uh, merge everybody up, but then split off my heavies again. Move them back up. Did not mean to do that. Hopefully we can go at least a month without another pop-up. Yes, we could. Let's stop right there then. All right. So, it was a bit hectic there at the end again, and th this is something probably I have to improve on in time. I get a bit frazzled when there's so much happening. Uh, but there's no reason to. You guys are a very accepting bunch. In this episode, we did manage to uh, secure again militarily rather than diplomatically a new feudatory as we begun to integrate also one of our old feudatories. Uh, we may even integrate more in the long term. Especially this one, who's probably not of much value since they have only a settlement and not a city. In keeping with that idea, we can actually start improving relations with them as well. I also want to do that so eventually we can maybe change our diplomatic stance. So, that was one thing we did. Prior to that, though, we had made our peace with Rome. We did do something that I had not originally planned and fought one more battle just to turn the tide a little bit so that we could take everything. Uh, we built a couple of forts to keep us safe. However, this fort is not quite on the border. We ended up regretting that when we came to assist our, our friends and allies with their revolt and their rebels hiked all the way down to kill several of our populace uh, down here rather than defend their own homeland. Interesting move. I'll give him that. Um, I was not expecting it, so I cannot complain about it because that would constitute proper military behavior then. All right, so we're looking in a good position. Rome is uh, continuing their expansion to the north now, I guess. I'm, I'm pretty sure they declared this war. There's always a chance they didn't. I've seen them get declared on before by some of the tribes up north, but this, this seems more like a, a Roman initiative. Uh, they are at war over Take Ariminium, which is this area. So yeah. That uh, definitely seems like something that they did. Uh, but we're in a much better position than we started. Uh, I would say that after this, uh, we do have to keep an eye on Rome. We're not going to call this done with them until we have secured this province. 
then we will consider them defeated. Uh, we may even give our allies stuff up here rather than take it for ourselves, at least for a while. Eventually we will want th these two provinces, I guess, but you know, whatever. Uh, because we do want to start turning our attention to the south in the next episode, perhaps. Uh, our fleet is looking good. It doesn't have the heavies that undoubtedly the Carthaginians have, and they undoubtedly can produce a lot more ships pretty quick. Carthaginians do look like they're at a little war here. That's not exactly a big war, though. They're probably trying to conquer these people and failing to send and deploy their troops properly. Uh, but they will win, I think. It looks like it. They're you know doing pretty well there, at least. And I don't believe they have any forts anywhere on the island. Nope. Nope. So, yeah, that's why all of this is occupied. All right. And then after we deal with Carthage, we can turn to Epirus. Thank you again for joining me. And I'm going to definitely uh, take a longer break now uh, from, from the game, uh, edit the videos, and get them out to you. Uh, take care, and I will see you next time. Do like and subscribe if you uh, feel so inclined. I would appreciate it. And I look forward to our next Let's Play. Ciao.